Welcome again to Project with Brian. I quite often talk about power tools and so on, but quite often we forget the basic tools that we all need in our tool chest. Today I'm going to talk about combination squares. The standard combination square has got this screw uh, and there, you slide it up and down and there's a detent in here and it runs up and down a groove and then when you want to lock it into position you wind up the screw and it locks it in position. These things can be cheap, they can be expensive, Rabone, Chesterman, uh, uh, Starrett, uh, which is the American version of it, is you quite often see, or then again you get a cheapo like this, um, which is meant to do the same job. I want to change your viewpoint about these things, because I think these are rubbish. The good thing about these rulers is they have inches on one side and metric on the other. But when you want to change uh, uh, from metric uh, reading to uh, imperial reading, you've got to undo the notch, take it out, and I defy anybody to get that back in easily. They will be fiddling for minutes doing it. It's not unachievable, it's not designed to be unachievable, but it will be fiddly. Take then the magnetic combination square. It fits like that. You can slide up and down like so. You can reverse it for inches or metric. You can do your dip stops uh, uh, brilliantly quick and it's locked in position with strong magnets. Uh, you can take the ruler out and you can measure. Uh, and uh, is it square? Most certainly it's square. You can stand it square this way. You want to check it against the conventional. There you go. Perfect. Uh, and why wouldn't you have something quick and convenient to use like that? I don't know. Now, here's the thing. This one's a draper. I bought it some time ago, but because I am me, and I very often need more than one tool because I put it down and I don't know where it is, I want more than one of these. And what happened? They became unavailable to the market. You couldn't get a draper one, you couldn't get uh, uh, um, uh, anybody's. These are actually made in America uh, and the two companies uh, that uh, are concerned, uh, one is Bora, um, and the other one I'll just think of in a moment, Capro. Uh, um, and they are distinctive because they've all got these this, this mould, and they allowed it to be bra uh, branded. So for example, this one says it's Draper, and it came with a little Draper pouch. There we go, little Draper pouch, that's meant to hold the bottom bit and the ruler sits across the top and you put that in your tool case. So imagine how difficult it's been over the last few months for me to find one of these things. I can tell you they're just not available and I don't know why that was until lo and behold what do we see? An ox version. Now it's no more than a label and blue, the, the ox color blue. But the principle is exactly the same, it's exactly the same uh, magnetic, drill, uh, uh, magnetic square, like so. And uh, why wouldn't you have one of these? I don't know. So if you're at all tempted by the magnetic version, the only one you can get at the moment pretty well is uh, one branded ox. And lo and behold, because it's ox, it's a little bit more expensive. So this one, the Draper one, was about 15 pounds. This one's about 23 pounds. But the versatility compared to the standard kind of screw square has got to be a must to work, be worth paying that. And if your birthday's coming up, 
your Christmas is coming up, whatever, get one of these. They were worth it. This one came by uh, Amazon, I think. Um, uh, it's got a level on the, uh, uh, the top here. It's got a little uh, a scribe there. I never know what the scribe uh, is worth. Uh, worth having for you. You're always going to be using a pencil with these things, it seems to be. Uh, uh, but get one. Can you spot the difference? They both come with a bag. They both got strong magnets. The only difference is the uh, label. But of course, you can't buy the Draper one anymore because it's not available. You buy the Ox one, but they're both made by an American company, Capro. So that was the Ox combination square. I hope I've convinced you. I should have done it if I've done my job properly. It's, it, it looks like a no-brainer to, uh, uh, to me. But what, 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 what squares do you use? Let me know. Give me uh, uh, some comments. Tell me whether you liked it or didn't like it. You can see us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And why not subscribe? And then you won't miss any of my little gems ever. Well worth doing. Uh, but hit the bell as well. Thank you again for watching Budget with Brian.